Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Wednesday again. It's November, a new month, November 2nd. And it's my 44th week of 52 weeks of dishcloths for 2022. Hope you've all been fine. We're having some lovely weather in New England. I got past the big weekend of parties. What with, uh, oh my goodness, with... Um, well, let's say especially Halloween. I'll play down the other things. Halloween was Monday. It was my husband's 70th birthday, and we got through it all. <laughs> Yesterday was recuperation day from the weekend, kind of. Well, anyway, cleanup day, that's what I'll call it. So, welcome, everyone. I want to say welcome to the new members. I continue to get new viewers because people are hitting that subscribe button. And I said when I hit 500 subscribers, I would be giving away a prize and it'll be crafty related. I think I'll have a, uh, well, I won't talk about the prize yet. I'll wait till we get closer, but I'm at 489 subscribers. So what is that, 11? Yes, 11 more people. If 11 more people hit the subscribe button, it'll be time for a drawing. And I'll give you the details of what you have to do to win the prize when that time comes. It could be soon. It could be in a month. It could be in five months. You just never know. Okay, let's get down to the business of this week's dishcloth. <laughs> this week's dishcloth is one that I think... I really like it's in my top five of the year and here's it's by it's a yarn for oh, I'm in the Sun again I'm in my kitchen Let me move over a bit I can be able to see this oh here we go it is it is by yarn inspirations and it's called the sailor's knot it's crocheted I really like it it is made with crochet hook size, not that it really matters, you can use anything, H or 8. Um, and you just need a ball of yarn, cotton yarn. And it's a free pattern, it, this is what the instructions look like, and it's really easy. Well, let me put it this way. They say that the skill level is easy. I don't think, no, well, it's not hard, but I wouldn't say easy. I think maybe you're going to find it tedious because it's not finish it in a half an hour or an hour. Let me show you what it looks like. I picked the wrong place again today. Here's what it looks like. You actually crochet three... Let's see if I can get you a better view here. Maybe that's better. There we go. You crochet three different sections and you weave them together, and then you kind of just uh, sti put a few stay stitches in it here and there, which I haven't completed yet. Of course, it's not completely done. Let's see if I can come back to Maybe down here will be better. Try this. Sorry for my... Alrighty, here it is. So what you do, there's my... That's why I'm saying it's not completely done because I'm still just putting a few knots here and there. Like, see, here I haven't tacked down. This is where you'd weave it. I'll show you on the pattern. It's this section. What you do is you first crochet the middle section. It's a like a, tri a, a, a rectangle, but it's got rounded edges. Then you do two pieces that are not connected. You do two th that they, they look the same, but they're not connected so that you can put them together. I don't know if the color's going to show up, but you can see that the blue color, the blue color is the original, and then there's a green and a red, which those have openings underneath that you can't see right now. And you just do weave one and weave the other one. So technically, it's easy, but it takes a little longer. Probably take you two nights. 
only because you probably don't get around to doing this part. See, this is where it's not tacked down someplace. Well, you don't really see I've tacked this. So I'm going to tack. What I'm doing is tacking here, tack here. And it's only just a little stitch. I'm just putting in just a little stitch, which is the right side and which is the wrong side. This is, okay, this is the wrong side. So all I'm doing is taking a little stitch and making a knot. And it's so easy to do on the back because it's all the same color. Take a little stitch. And I might put a little knot. And you can clip it, or you can just continuously do it. I, I probably did a line of them, and and uh, so there's to it, and it, you know, that's a whole section that's t tied off. Now I see that this is, you know, needing a little stitch, but I really like it. It's very interesting. So that's that. That's what we did for this week. Um, what else is going on? I'm getting ready to get out of here because I want to go to Hobby Lobby. Is having a sale on, I believe they're having a sale on um, Christmas nutcrackers. My my grandson's crazy for nutcrackers. And even though I gave him all his birthday presents like in two sittings, because he was sick all week, so he didn't have his potty Sunday like he was supposed to. And uh, so I gave him a gift for his birthday the night before his birthday. Then I gave him a whole bag of birthday stuff well, junk from uh, the bins, but it was all stuff he would like. It was skeletons, many skeletons, and crafty things and books and sketch pads for drawing and a shirt and a little bag with the, the reaper on it, um, garlands of skeletons, stuff like that. So he got a whole bag of that stuff on Halloween day. Then he went home and put on his um, costume. Actually, I'll stick a picture in here so that you can all see who he was. He was the sinister, a sinister jester. When kids at school asked him who was going to be for Halloween, he said, I told them I'm going to be a scary clown. Because if I said I was going to be the sinister jester, I don't think they'd understand what sinister means. That's debatable. Maybe they would. But that's how he chose to communicate. <laughs> I'll put his picture right here. Oh no, the dog's starting to bark. Of course, somebody's in our yard. I'm right near the door. Who are you? Oliver, stop it. I just saw a tail going. Um, so what else is going on? I'm late in getting my vaccinations for the fall because I had COVID. So I waited a little over a month. So I got my flu shot Monday and I'm getting my COVID shot on Friday. I didn't write it in. My COVID shot on Friday afternoon at CVS. Um, then I'll be covered. And for those of you who are near New England or in New England, Saturday and Sunday is the New England Fiber Festival at the Big E in East Springfield, Massachusetts. And I'm attending. I'm like hit or miss at these uh, yarn things this year. I seem to be getting a lot of different afflictions <laughs> but I'm good this weekend and I'll have two shots under my belt not that I'll, they'll be effective yet but at least I've gotten them so that they'll I'll probably be good by uh, Thanksgiving or maybe a little earlier so that's it uh, oh no I'm gonna show you one more thing I went to the bins last Saturday in uh, Hudson Mass oh, Hudson New Hampshire and uh, that's where I bought a ton of stuff for Hunter. But I got myself the coolest, the coolest bag. It's a handmade bag that I want to copy. There's all yarn coming out of it, but that's okay. You can see this giant bag. I'll have to get back. Here it is, the whole thing. It's quilted. It's quilted on the outside. It's some cool fabric. It's got two dollars, the handles. <laughs> Let me show you the inside. Has pockets and the sides are closed shut, but they're expandable and it's got a boxed bottom. So 
this thing can hold a ton. It might not it might hold a project if you were making a giant afghan, but I think it's more to hold stash. Like if you have a bunch of DK or if you have a bunch of Worcester, the whatever it is that you've got the most of, you could just stick it in that bag. So I thought that was cool. That was $2 a pound. So I, I think I paid, I don't think it's a pound. I probably paid $1.75 for it. Yeah, all the uh, stuff is um, sold by the pound. They call the store Goodwill by the pound, B-U-Y the pound. And tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow I'm going to a buy the pound, a Goodwill by the pound in Camden, Connecticut. Bet you thought I was going to say New Jersey, right? No, I wouldn't go to, I don't think I'd go that far. My only New Jersey trip was. Something happened. <laughs> Something happened. My dog ran by and my video stopped. Anyway, that's what's happening this week. And I'll see you all next week with another dishcloth. Thanks for watching. Bye now.